Uh, my name's Christine Balling. I'm from Bogota, uh, Colombia, Admiral. Um, you mentioned earlier that there's, there's much that the special forces do that is not publicized. Uh, humanita humanitarian assistance, civil affairs, and so on. And uh, I understand on a very superficial level the by, with, and through theory, which is essentially that the special forces do not want to put an American face on their work. They would rather increase the le le legitimacy of a host nation's right. government uh, in, in the eyes of the host nation's citizens. Question, are there sometimes an exception to that rule? Um, and if, if there have been, in, uh, would, would you have any examples of that? Well, I'm sure there's exceptions to, to every rule. Uh, but as a matter of kind of policy and approach, we absolutely want the host nation to get the credit. Uh, Colombia is a fantastic example. As you know, we've been working uh, with the Colombians for decades. And certainly since Plan Colombia came into effect, we've had a very great working relationship with the Colombian Special Forces. They are magnificent special operations forces. And they have done a terrific job against the FARC in Colombia. Uh, and that is a credit, again, to the Colombian leadership, uh, both political and military leadership, and to the great uh, soldiers that they bring into the special forces. Um, we don't hide the fact that we've been working with the uh, Colombian SOF for some time. We embrace that. Uh, but what we don't do is it's not about credit for the United States. It is about a partnership with the Colombians that, frankly, is making both of us better. Uh, so when we have an opportunity to discuss our relationship with another country, it's not necessarily about giving credit to one force or another. It's to talk about how we're strengthening that partnership and the value of that partnership to both countries. Uh, that wraps up our presentation. I'll uh, have, have the, pri the pri